are you finding it hard to get things done? You know, I always get asked, Zaheen, how do you get things done with working and seeing clients and speaking and on and on? And at first I would always answer, I don't know, I always get it done, I guess. I'm organized or something, you know. But then I really decided to hack into, into my own kind of mindset and, you know, figure out how do I get things done. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you three tips on how to get things done and be a winner or feel like a winner. And at the end, uh, I'm going to share with you a guide that I created that you can access and learn, I believe it's seven tips on how to be productive, as well as you'll get a blueprint that uh, that's my own that you can work through on how you can get things done as well. So my name is Zaheen Nanji and I help organizations as well as individuals like you on uh, how to build their resilience muscle so they can make it their first reflex in times of change and challenge. All right, so here goes the first tip. The first thing that you want to do when you want to get things done is you want to learn how to delegate. Now it sounds so simple, right? But a lot of us don't do it. And the reason could be that you feel that you lose control of the situation or of what you're working on. And that's very normal to feel like that. But just understand that if you do not delegate something away, then how are you going to work on things that really matter to you? And I learned this from a lot of my mentors who will say to me, Zaheen, would you rather spend time on things that cost maybe $10 to get done uh, where you could be spending time to work on your speech or to work on something that you like doing that will give you thousands of dollars back? Now that makes so much sense, right? And so I kind of thought, yeah, why am I doing graphic design? Why am I uh, looking for speaking en engagements when I can get someone else to do it? Now, I know that those of you watching, you may not have your own business, but this goes in any area of your life. Learn how to delegate and start in your own home, right? So make sure that you have chores that you can give away to your family members. In my house, my daughter, who's 12, her chore is to empty the dishwasher and to do her room. I'm not going to clean her room for her. Uh, but as a person who has her own business, I decided a long time ago that spending Sundays to clean my house was not in my best interest, especially at that time when I worked full time. I worked six, six days a week. I wasn't going to spend the seventh day cleaning my house. So I hired someone to clean my house. And those four hours uh, were saved then for me to work on what I love doing. So learn how to delegate. Now I have three virtual assistants and they each have their own job. One's job is to find me speaking engagements. The second one does a lot of handouts for me. And the third VA is in charge of my online academy where I teach online courses. So you see how I've come a long way in making sure that I delegate so that I can do what I love to do, which is creating content, creating speaking, um, I mean, <laughs> creating speeches that, that really inspire others, creating courses that really help others. That's what I love doing. So I would rather focus my energy on that than focus on things that are mundane, like doing graphic design or things like that, all right? Again, I know most of you watching may not have your own business, but map this kind of mindset in your lives, in your work. So for example, even if you work for someone and you are in that space where you go, oh, I wish I could give this away to someone, why not ask for help and give it away to someone else who can do that job rather than you doing it? The reason you delegate is because one, you don't like doing it. <laughs> it's a waste of your time and energy. So you give it away to someone who is really good at doing that. Number two, you don't know how to do it. I mean, do you know how to code a website? I don't. I don't know if you do, 
but why don't I give it away to my website manager who can do a better job and make it look even better than what I, I can do and spending days and time doing that. I'm not going to do that. So learn how to do those kinds of things. The second tip that I want to share with you today on how to get things done is think about the 80-20 rule. So here's the definition of that, where 20% of your activities produce 80% of your rewards. Uh, so for example, in October, so now this is November 2017, in October I didn't do any live stream videos and I know a, some of you are saying, how come you're not coming on anymore? And that's because in October I had four speaking engagements. Uh, we were so busy at the wellness center that my husband and I had because um, we had clients coming in through the door and we had to get them through as well as I taught five virtual online classes through my online academy. So it was so difficult and I felt so bad that I couldn't even come on Facebook and do a simple live stream. And, uh, but when you think about it, I'm thinking to myself, 80-20 rule. 80-20 rule means I'm doing the things that will give me the income that will create 80% of the outputs of what I put into. So for example, speaking engagements, I'm just putting my effort in there, but it gives me 80% 80, 80 of the outputs after that. So I could get referrals, I could get um, uh, you know, other people asking me about the courses that I do. So you see how that is very important. So even in your own life, again, if you don't have a business, make sure that whatever you want to do in your own life, you are putting 80, no, you are putting 20% to get 80% output. That is so important. So if you want to know more about the 80-20 rule, I hardly recommend that you Google it. All right, so, so far, uh, hi Abdul, thanks, thanks for joining. So, so far we've talked about delegate and we've talked about the 80-20 rule. So you're, for those of you watching me, if you can write in the comment section below, uh, what do you think about delegating? What can you delegate? Whether it's in your own home, whether you have a business, whether it's at your work, what can you start to delegate away that will give you more time to do the things you love and get those done? While you're doing that, I also want you to think about the 80-20 rule of uh, how you can avoid certain mundane things like I find so many people will spend their time um, doing things that are not giving them the output that they need so just this morning actually I was talking to my students who took my health course online and I was like telling them that exercise is so important and we were talking about exercise and I said we would rather watch TV and just sit on the couch and not exercise. But what if we can do both? What if we can exercise at the same time and watch our shows that we like? Uh, that would be great because you're doing both. And again, 20% of your input will give you more in the long run, 80% because you'll be healthy. Okay. And the third tip that I want to share with you that's so important that I live by every day is the fact that I want you to start thinking about a mentor that you want to model after. So as you know, I do speaking engagements. I have a, I love to teach because it fills my cup, all right? Uh, but I model after a mentor and I have quite a few, uh, but the one that I really look up to are Hugh Culver, uh, and you can go to his website, hughculver.com, H-U-G-H-C-U-L-V-E-R.com. He's a speaker, as well as Michael Lozier, uh, L-O-S-I-E-R. He is the one that really got me into the speaking arena in the first place, and he teaches the law of attraction, and that's how I got into that. I model after those mentors because I see what they're doing. And I go, if they can do that, I could do that too. And because I keep that in my mind, it makes me want to finish my tasks. It's, it makes me want to do more because I'm always thinking about 
how would my mentor do this? Uh, what would they do to earn more income? What would they do to delegate the tasks that they don't like to do? So you see how when you think about your mentor and you model after them, you automatically start to see success. Whether it's in business, whether it's in your own life, whether it's to do with your health. So if you model after someone who's really fit and healthy, well, model after them. Watch what they eat, uh, how they work out, what kind of mindset that they have, and model after that. If you know someone who's running a business that you really want to do, model after them. Look at how they think and what they do and what they buy and how they do their business, how they talk with their clients, anything like that. Model after them. That's how we learn best. And listen, the people who will help you are your mentors. And when you approach them and ask them, look, I want to do this. Can you help me? They are more than willing to help you. No one will say no. If they say no, they're not thinking right. They are not the kinds of people who will lift you up. You want the people who will lift you up. So there you go. Three tips. I'm going to repeat that. Three tips, uh, three tips to be productive and get things done. Number one is delegate. Give it away if you don't like it or you don't know how to do it. Stop wasting your time and energy on doing things that you don't know how to do and that you don't like doing. I don't like doing Facebook ads. I give it to someone who will do it for me. Number two, think about the 80-20 rule. Put 20% of your effort to get 80% of rewards. Number three is find a mentor that you can model after so that you can be successful and resilient and you'll get those things done. So I hope you like that. I would love to know what you thought about those three tips. And again, uh, I'm going to put a link uh, in the description above of how you can get access to the seven tips on being productive and getting things done. And in that guide, you will also get a blueprint of how I get things done daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly. So make sure you access that guide, all right? If you have any questions, type it in the chat box and I will be so happy to answer them. Again, you're listening to Zaheen, that's me, and uh, I will help you make resilience your first reflex. Bye now and have a good day. See ya.